Hello, welcome to season five of the Matrix Men. It's been a long time since we've talked, and I wanted to start. You know, we've done these, uh, we've done four introductions now for the Matrix Minute. This is the first time we're going to be doing on video as well. And I just kind of want to explain to you, one, where I've been and where we're going with this. When we started the Matrix Minute in 2014, it was really on a wing and a prayer. We just kind of wanted to get information out to you guys as the artists, uh, you know, from my 20 plus years in the music industry, doing a and doing marketing, and I just really wanted to give you the tools because hanging out on Twitter at the time and everything, I saw just tons and tons of artists falling for bad information, bad scams, giving good money to bad people, and that hasn't changed. But what happened in 2014 when this thing took off and we were seeing you know, downloads and streams all over the world going to places that I never dreamed possible that would wanna hang out with me and hear me speak, it, kind of the pressure came on and we went into 2015 with I think at that time like eight or nine million downloads and streams on all platforms and we were very adamant to let you know that it wasn't a podcast and we went into 2015 and we did something different we kind of made it more topical if you will and once again you guys delivered and you trusted me with your time and I appreciate that and I am indebted to you and then 2016 came back out, did a little bit more um, day-to-day stuff, a little bit more topical, kind of revisited because the music industry always is rapidly changing. And then in 2018, uh, 2017, 2018 came out and we were getting ready for uh, season four of the Matrix Minute. And at that point, numbers were you know, 16, 17 million sales, streams, downloads and getting ready to go hit the world and sometimes as life will hand it to you you know the rug gets pulled out from underneath you and you kind of have to just take a step back and reevaluate and then in 2020 i was getting ready to come back out we were going to do season four and then the world shut down and so really i've just taken the last couple of years i had a business that was um incredibly successful for a startup and we sold it off because really my passion is to get back and hang out with you guys. And so what we're going to do in season five of the Matrix Minute is you're going to be getting daily information on the music industry. We're going to go a little bit deeper than we have, but we're also going to do extended versions on, um, on YouTube and Rumble and stuff like that from the audio tracks. On top of that, we are going to be launching a website for you guys free of charge, absolutely free. Um, to be able to, uh, I hate the word network, but where you can network with other artists, where you'll be able to um, share your latest releases, your Spotify links, your you know just whatever's going on in your career, make connections with the industry. It's going to be free. We're going to be interviewing artists who are signed um, or who are unsigned, but they're doing amazing things. And you'll be able to. We're not just going to ask them about their album. I mean, that comes in it, but we're also going to be tapping into the struggles and the pitfalls of being a professional artist. And really what I want to do this year, coming into 2023, I've had a couple of years off to think about it and to strategize is this isn't about me and this isn't about gassing you up and making you feel great about yourself. This is really about us just going into 2023, knowing that the world has changed, knowing, I mean, you think about the Matrix Minute came out nine years ago and how much has changed. I mean, nine years ago, I was fighting with artists about the future of music was in Spotify and Apple Music. And at that time, it was called Beats. And to see where we're at today, where TikTok is so influential and YouTube. And so we're really going to just dive into it a little bit deeper to give you strategies on how to deal with this changing industry, how to deal with the world, how to market your music how to not become one of those people who, you know, becomes bitter and jaded. And through all of that, I really feel like by bringing in people, bringing in my friends, bringing in artists to be able to give you their tips and not just have it all be about me. I really feel like it's going to be um, something that's gonna be valuable for the price, which the price is your time. And that is the most that is the most precious gift that you can give anybody. So. 
For all you guys who've hung out with us for nine years and you're still listening to tracks from nine years ago, uh, thank you for your time. I know that time is the one thing that is unforgivable. You lose money, you can make it. You lose love, you can find, you know, you can find love. If you lose a job, you can find a new job, but time you don't get back. And so I'm so incredibly grateful for uh, the time that you've invested. It, maybe we met in person and we hung out. Maybe you just tuned in every day or you go back now and you're listening from nine years ago. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your commitment to me. You can follow me on uh, any of the social media links. Just look for The Matthew Ricks. MatthewRicks.com will be coming at the start of the year. And we're going to have a place where you can submit questions and we're going to answer them for free of charge, free coaching, if you will. I hate the word coaching as well. But I know this one is a little bit longer than what you're used to with the Matrix Minute. But I just kind of wanted to let you know where I've been, where we're going. And until then, like we said nine years ago, I'll say it today. Let your dreams be bigger than your reality.